Who are you? I am you. <laughs> M. Night Shyamalan, uh, what genre would you say Glass is? Um, if you can. It's... Yeah, no, it's very clear for Doesn't me. Doesn't need to be. Uh, I, you know, Split was distinctly a thriller, mm -hmm. but I think Glass is a mixture of two genres, the comic book genre, uh, with its archetypes and, and expectations, and the thriller genre, which is a kind of pressure cooker of the mystery that's growing with answers that come at the end, and those two genres together, the thriller and the comic book. <laughs> So we are in cinema territory to a genre that dominates the cinema scape at the moment, the yeah. superhero movie. But uh, what sets this movie apart from those other superhero-centric movies? Mm. I, I think you can feel it. Every time there's a fresh take on the comic book genre now, there's a, this explosion that happens. And ours, I feel, is a tonal fresh take. Yeah. We're making an A drama. That's what we're doing. The grounded nature of it, I think, is really fresh. And I think the level of your performances are, are extraordinary. Well, that sounds like the bad guys teaming up. One of the things that I intend for is an original tone for the film. And why that's so important is a movie that you have no idea where it's going, and it's so singular in its structure and in what it's saying. On Monday morning, when you're at the water cooler at your work, it's hard to say, I don't like those type of movies, because there isn't any like glass. So I try to make it as unique as possible and Is ride that, something that you line. always do? I try to. I try to. Because I'm thinking about all your movies, I think they are all very unique from each other, extremely unique from each other, actually. Yeah, originality is a... Uh, I've tell this to, to all this, the studios, Disney and Universal, who are selling our movie, that is our weapon. I, I know your first blush is gonna be, it's different, and so that's scary when you're selling the movie, but for me, I'm like, that's our weapon against every other movie in this world of comic books, is there's nothing like our movie. <laughs> you really dissected him, Doctor. Good for you. I think that in a lot of the, the superhero movies out there at the moment, the audience is asking the studio and the filmmakers to show us something they've never seen before. Mm. And that gets manifested in bigger crashes, bigger bang, mm. bigger... And some of that is great, and I'm involved in some of that, and I love watching some of that as well. But I think in Glass, the audience aren't necessarily asking for anything. The filmmaker is asking them mm. to come along on a ride that they're not used to going on. And like you say, you know, our special effects are not the explosions and they aren't the spaceships and they aren't those things. The crash and the bang happens within a character's emotional state, mm. you know, and there are summits to get to that are hard to get to, but if you do get to them, it can be thrilling for an audience, I think. Yeah. So were you more confident approaching this subject of, of uh, DID the second time around than the first time around? I, I was more confident approaching that, but with Glass, you then have the facility to write new characters. Mm. So I ended up having an extra, was it nine, ca nine or? Yeah, I forget how many you did 10, in 11 extra characters yes. than I did in the first one. So the panic was back on. Por favor, senora. We really didn't explore the beast that much in Split. Mm. Uh, we really explored the beast this time in Glass, and I wasn't as mm. certain about how he would do things, so I had to do a hell of a lot of getting comfy with him, and then on top of that, there's 10 new people. So you had to start from the beginning in some ways, yes. as well as coming home to characters that yes. you know well. So it was, it was an interesting mix. Go ahead, we Taking the light. Hey, what's up? <laughs> Don't worry. Did you have any inkling where the story was going after Split and before you received the script for Glass? No. You know, we talked about it every now and again, but really we were focused on making we Split were. work as Split needed to work. A pretty practically minded actor in me who's a hired gun, and mm. I never really believe I'm in the movie until I've seen myself on screen mm. at the premiere. Just kind of went, uh, that'll probably never happen. Let's just make this. Yes. Do you know what I mean? Because yes. you never count your chickens until they've hatched. I don't want to be like, oh, great, another paycheck, yes. like two years from now. <laughs> Sweet. You just go, well, we got to get this right first. Yeah. And then after the success of Split, and, and, and also the huge love that is there for Unbreakable manifests itself in a kind of, mm. let, let's do this, Yes, uh, it was time to get excited about it, you know.